Hello, hello, hello. How's everyone doing? My name is Harry. I'm currently interning for the Office of Student Involvement, specifically for the RCO division. And today, we'll be walking you through how to use our news feature on Cat Life. And when we first click on the link for Cat Life, this brings us to our homepage, which is where, I'm at, where I am at now. And this is as soon as you click on the link. So now, what we need to do is to go to Memberships tab right down here. Go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, we have a short description of our office, our contact information, and we have a organi Manage Organizations tab right here. Now, this is not going to be available for every single member in your respective organizations, but they it will be a available for those that are given access to it. For example, your it might be your executive board or some of the specific chairs that would have access to this feature. So we're going to click on that right now. Give it a second. There we go. For some of you, it might be a little different. But for ours, Office of Student Involvement is relatively empty here. And we're going to click on the left three bars tab right here. So this gives us a little side view menu, uh, side menu. And as you can see, there's all these features over here. And we're going to click on the news feature. And as you can see, if you your club or organization has created a news article before, it will be available right here. For us, our past posts are made by Haley Montoya. For those of you who have worked with her before, I'm sure you all can agree, or we can all agree on that she's a wonderful person. And let's go ahead and explore the Create Article tab right here. This is the the main point I want to bring to you guys. Over here, we can enter the title of your article. We can enter a quick summary, as you can see, up to 250 characters. And this is where you drop down most of the information. For example, the article itself, what you want to talk about, any announcements. And over here is a useful tip. If you create a link for YouTube or Vimeo video in your article, it will be embedded in the location of your link. So keep that in mind. And if you wanted to notify all the members within your organization, you can go ahead and click this to have them check it out. And on the right hand side, we have a images tab. What we do over here is sort of like a cover page for our article or announcement, give a little visual presentation. And you could also use the images alternative, te alternative text. Texting the images will, should be avoided for accessibility reasons, so keep that in mind as well. And this is really important over here, the visibility. Right now at default, it is set to public. Now we can click on the drop down menu right here. You can either make it public, institution, which is pretty much UCMR said, only those that are you know attending UCMR said could see this, or organization. That one is pretty much whoever the members are in your clubs and org can see this, and only them. Private. Is also another option for the public this is remember this goes out to the World Wide Web you know so just just keep it keep that in mind and after you're finished go ahead and click this create article button it will you know light up as you all can see now that we're back on the home page of cat life on the top right corner we're currently logged out the reason for this is that I wanted to show you all what it looked like after we discussed the visibility section of the news form. On the home page, when we scroll down, 
past the public events, we can see the latest news. Give it a second to load. And all of these news articles are made public under the visibility setting. This is different from institutional. If we click on this t news tab over here, give it a second. Here we go. These are also public articles. As you can see, these articles can pop up in any search engine, not just cat life. But if we type in the right keywords, this will show up in your Google search, Bing search, and anything like that. So keep in mind, once again, that all the information we put out on the internet is there to stay forever, and the public articles will be available on CatLife for all of the internet to search up. And yeah, that concludes our video for today. If you all have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and shoot an email to our Office of Student Involvement or RCO email. And the email address is clubsandorgs at ucmerced.edu. Thank you, everyone. I hope everyone enjoy your rest of your days. And yeah, thank you.